Scott in Morehouse, and we're Greenheart. We've got James Fraser on guitars and vocals, alongside Lawrence Hamilton on the drums. When my friend came back from Australia, he played these small did you do that he brought back, and I was just, I was bowled over by the sound of it. Really connected with me straight away. And the next day, I just started learning the techniques, have a go on and what have you, so I did, and I just really enjoyed it and loved the sound of it. It really hit me, so I got into it. Very earthy sound, and in a lot of people, when they hear it, play just the drone even. It's kind of, you know, within a few seconds whether you get it or not. not it's not everyone's cup of tea, but it's, believe me, when you hear it live, it's somewhere special. When audiences hear it, they've never heard anything like it. We're a very unusual band, the didgeridoo, combined with amazing guitars and, and drumming as well. We're a special act but it works and to people surprised as well a lot of people when they hear what we do they're a bit unsure of what to expect but I think when they've been to watch us uh, they see what we can do together and creating stuff on stage live so it's great This album has been going on since 2009 in one form or another it's ready now we've got the personnel all of us here have done something good in, in the Lancaster music scene this new album, we've put a lot of love into this album. It's our second album. The first album was called Rhubarb City from 2009. Very well received. This one we think is a, a smash album. The sort of the constellations have come together to shine upon Rhubarb City Studios. We've got Scotty Morehouse on the didgeridoo and he's like a superstar didgeridoo player. There's not many of them about, you know, and he's up there. We've got Lawrence Hamilton, who's a, an amazing pedigree with Lancaster groups. He's played with Strawberry Girl and he's played with 3D Tanks. Everybody knows Lawrence. He's a, a superstar drummer. I've been playing music since I was about 18 with the Milltown Brothers, probably my most sort of famous outing. They were signed to A&M, got a top 40 hit. We did Wogan toward the States. So we had that kind of rock star lifestyle, which was really good fun. We're at the state where we have these songs ready to go. We have a studio to record them, but we have no means of producing CDs for people. What we would like to do is ask people to put to sign up and buy the album up front on the promise that we will deliver it. It will really do us good to get it to that stage where it's a deadline. We know that people are going to love this because the response that we get live and when people hear the recordings, it's overwhelmingly positive. It's time this baby was born. With your help, we could get this album out for the middle of summer. You will be bouncing to Greenheart at your barbecues.